I'm in my 50s. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, and then, uh, you know, I've been a, I've been a professional singer uh, and musician in nightclubs and restaurants for my entire adult life. I didn't, uh, I got right out of high school and started playing in bars and I never stopped. It was so much fun back then. <laughs> and then uh, I just kept going. So um, in the process, uh, I got married. I ended up living in Ireland for a few years. I became more of an artist in Ireland. I started writing songs, started recording songs, and um, and now I, I'm really passionate about uh, songwriting, creating original music. Um, so that's kind of where I am now. And for the first time in my life, like I think I said this, I live in L.A., I live in a music hub, so it's really cool, really exciting to be around so many creative people. I say they were very literate. They they were really into lyrics, you know. And and as songwriters and as musicians, we tend to kind of get distracted by music sometimes and and pay less attention to really the the power of our lyrics. And uh, so I think that was that it reinforced that for me when I was over there, um, the power of the lyrics in a song, and. Um, our country songwriters over here know the power of lyrics, and 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 our um, uh, the people who write songs for Broadway shows and for musicals know the power of lyrics, and they're they're like brain surgeons when it comes to writing lyrics. But uh, as pop artists, we tend to look more into hooks and look more into the music and things like that, and. Uh, so being in Ireland, it was a very, it was a good experience for me to be around people who were so focused on words and wordsmithing and, and if that's a word, I don't know if that's even a word, but, um, you know, creating, creating lyrics in a song that really had points and said, said something. I think it's really powerful, really powerful because, um, being in another culture will expand your creative connection and it expanded mine I should speak more for myself but it totally expanded my creative connection because it pulled me out of all the routine things I do all the routine things I do that can kind of lock me into a certain creative box when you go live in another country or another uh, uh, another culture blows all the it just blows the walls off that box and all of a sudden you're doing things differently your your day-to-day -day life becomes very different and by your day-to-day -day life becoming very different you start to open open up to creativity I started finding myself feeling very creative uh, living in, in in Europe was very creative experience for me and it was because I had lived in the US all my life and being where and they drove on a different side of the road, just even that, you know, was enough of a shift in my brain patterns and my thought patterns to to open up creativity. When you start shifting that stuff and moving it around, all of a sudden creativity can come through. There's a, a famous author over there, James Joyce, who used to move. He 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 would move every two years. He'd move to a different country or a different place just to just to keep his brain kind of open that way and his his uh, creative spirit I guess Crazy wild eyed friend who nearly did me. Me, I covered you at every route. I like to watch the fire explode before I had to put it out. Smoking joints, you burned your dad's shed down. Then you got some. When you crashed that car, I had my doubt. 
thoughts. Still we laughed like fools for hours till we heard from inside out. And I can't save you from yourself this time around. I can't be the one who always pulls you out. What was fun before, my friend, is risky now. It's time to stop this game and own up, man. You're on your own this time around. Looking back on it, you never hear. Watched you torch your marriage, then you lost your kids. It took a while to see the damages. I watched your life implode, then blow up right before my very eyes. And I can't save you from yourself this time around. I can't be the one who always pulls you out. What was fun before, my friend, is risky now. It's time to stop this game and own up, man. You're on your own this time around. This time. This last time you won't be yourself But the next time you might hurt somebody else And I can't save you from yourself this time around I can't be the one who always pulls you out What was fun before? My friend is tragic now. It's time to stop this game and own up, man. You're on your own this time around. This time around. This time. Okay, this song is called uh, This Time Around. Uh, it was, the lyrics are a, generally um, a collaboration of three, three writers. Um, the first writer was a friend of mine from Denver, and uh, she had written a lyric very different than what this lyric turned out to be. But there was a kernel in there that was something kind of interesting as my wife was listening to this song. And my wife is a collaborator with me in writing lyrics. And so my wife pulled this one phrase out of the song and wrote an entirely new song. Now she did this when we were in Ireland, and she did this over a melody that I had come up with. So I wrote the melody, the melody's all mine, and then I was playing my wife the melody, and she said, I'd like to write the lyric to that based on this concept. Um, and I was blown away. In two hours, she had written this lyric, and I thought, what a unique concept to write a lyric about relationships and a relationship where you're friends with somebody, and as you get older, the trouble you used to get into or the mischief all of a sudden starts having more serious consequences. So as you get older and the consequences get more serious, 
one person decides they need to separate from this person and let them go their own way. And, um, and that's generally what this song is about. It's about letting go of a friendship because the friendship now has become harmful to the person singing the song or the person telling the story. And uh, they've got to let their friend go and find their own way. And uh, it's, it, I just, I had never heard a lyric like that. And I thought, what a great concept for a song. So when I heard her lyric, I was just blown away. And I thought, my wife, she is really my best lyricist.